Come hear me, little Jackie. No, I've smoked me bucky. Have a bit of cracky till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy. Dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy. Thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. She's a big lass, she's a bonny lass, and she likes her beer. And the caller, cause she bought the field, and I wish she was here. Oh, she's a big lass, she's I've a bonny lass. two glasses, Jack. Oh, you shouldn't have bothered, Mrs. Seaton. I brought them for you. Well, surely you'll be glad of a drop. How do you like this? Oh, I've had my share, don't you worry. Anyway, you know what your Jessie's like. Aye, Jack, I do. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll just put these bottles away. Aye. I need to keep the place tidy. Hello, pet. You two swap jobs, then? I don't know what you mean. You do the drinking while he looks after the van, is that it? No, it's not. That's my beer. Oh, it is, is it? What makes you think I'm going out with you when you're drinking? Drinking? One glass of beer? Drinks drink, Jack Ford. I don't care what you say. I haven't had a chance to say anything yet. Go on, go to your granny. Hey. Ah. Now, how about that walk? You haven't finished your beer. You mean you're going to let me? Sooner you than my mother. Yes, see. Now, look here, mother. I'm not going to say this again. So long as my dad's on strike, the only money that comes into this house is mine, and I'm not having you squandering it on beer. I didn't, honest. I bought it. Where would you get the money for beer? Well, you've got your strike pay. I squandered my strike pay. Now, don't start on me, bonnie lass. Not while the sun's shining. It doesn't shine that often. Now then, how about that walk? I thought you'd be sick of walking. By myself, I am. It's soft soap. It's all you're good for. We'll be back in an hour, Mother. Try to have the tea ready for them. And see if you can tidy the place up a bit. It's like a pigsty. I've not been that busy. Yes, I can see you have. You've got a coat to wear, I hope. Aye, it's here. We're off then, Mother. You stay for your tea with us, Jack? If I must. Well, of course you... You're always welcome to this house, funny lad. Thanks, Mrs Seaton. I don't think we should go out. Why not? It's a lovely day. Because I'm going to cry, that's why not. Are you? If anybody was to see us... You say we were taking a walk down the passage. <laughs> You're not going to cry at all. Jack! Oh, I thought I'd missed you. Uh, could I have a quick word, Jack? Well, you better walk on, Jesse. I'll catch you. Well, Tom? Well, I was, uh, I was wondering, uh, well, you know, I mean, uh, I thought maybe... How much? Well, just a few bob if you could manage it, Jack. My Mary's not being well and I'm skint. And the bairn's not getting proper food. Oh, thanks, Jack. That's for Mary and the bairn. And that's for beer. Oh, thanks, lad. And don't get them mixed up. Oh, I won't. You know me, Jack. Because if you do, I'll belt you. Jack. I could help you. No, Tom. Why, that way I could pay you back. No. That's enough, Jack. By God, it's not. No, it isn't. But it's got to be. I can't take chances, not just now. Not with Mum and Dad depending on me and our Billy. I daren't get pregnant, Jack. I daren't. We've waited a long time, Jessie. You think I don't know? It's going to be longer. Unless you get work. Work round here. Every shipyard's closed, every pit's shut down. It's two months since I've had a job. Look at me hands. I think you are working. Don't be daft. If you're not working, where are you getting the money? Who says I am? I do. Beer for me mother. Loans for our tongue. Where'd you get it, Jack? Had a bit put by. You save it. There are odd jobs, sometimes. What sort of odd jobs? We're, we're married and I'll tell you. Things will get better, Jack. You'll see. Come on, Jack. Let's go home for tea. Very nice, mother. Very nice. 
You know how many in this street gonna set out a tea like that this day? All right, bread and scrape for most of them. And jam if they're lucky. <laughs> you must all be bloody fools. <laughs> I'll have no language here, Tom Seaton. It'll take more than language. We're in the fourth week, da. And we could all be back to work if we wanted. What the employers is offering? Starvation wages? As it is, all we've got is starvation, Mr. Seaton. No wages at all. You're a good lad, Jack, but you're a fitter. Your union doesn't understand a fight, not like the miners. And we understand no else. I'll tell you something we don't understand, da. And that's how to win a bloody fight when it started. I've told you before I'll have no language in my house. Your house? Don't make me laugh. Oh, no, Tom, don't. You shut up and all I'm entitled to have me say. This hasn't been your house since the lockout started. Don't talk daft. I'm not talking daft. Easy, man, easy. No, it's not my house. Who's it? That's hers. She's the one that pays her rent. If it wasn't for our Jesse, I'd be out on the street. Aye, and starving and all. You ain't picking pockets. If you were ten years, you'd lie me very I'm 24. And she's 22, though you wouldn't think it to look at her. She walks along at 35. Aye, and I'll worn out 35 at that. Please, Tom, please. And I'll tell you why. It's my cousin's got TB. What am I supposed to do about it? Send it to Switzerland on me strike pay. I'm sorry, Dar. Aye. Well. Is it true, Pat? No, it's not. Mary, you're no fine. I've got a cough, that's all it is. It's just a cough. They told you at the clinic it was TB. And they told us wrong. It's a cough. That's all it is. It's just a cough. <laughs> What's the use? You just won't listen. Shut up, man. I think you've said enough. More than enough. Are you going down to the lodge, Beaton? I might as well, I suppose. I'm going to wish you up and then. We'll, uh, we'll not be long, Mother. coming out again. I can't. Your mother will look after her. I've got homework to mark. What do you keep for tomorrow? I have to give it back to her. The children need the to The children get... need, your parents need, your brothers need, and I need, and all I need you. This time, I think there's not enough of you to go around. Any idea where you'll have any time to spare for me? Honestly, Jack, it's not that I... Our Billy gets home on Wednesday. Come and see him. And you? I've got a lot of... Wednesday, I'll be free, I promise. Marvellous. Good night, Mrs. Seaton. Good night, Bonnie lad. I'll work in the front room, ma'am. You'll lose that man. I don't think so. Think? You'll need to do more than think to hold a man like Jack Ford. Well, have you done, then? I have done. You got better look awful. You look better when you've washed your face. <laughs> Tom's right. I look old. 35's not old. It's to me, ma'am. Bunny bear, and he's that good. But he's not hungry. <coughs> hey, I've got a bad cough. It'll get better. Of course it will. Hey, try a drop of this. Good for coughs, is it? Sovereign remedy? Oh, here you are. Get him down, yet? Yeah. I think it's time we had a change of pubs, Jack. Don't talk to Duff. This is the best beer for miles. Just a minute, Charlie. What happened, Matt? My barmaid. I gave the order, and my, she says, you fellas must be flush. What did you tell her? Well, I said we had a good win on the whippets. Did she believe you? She did when I bought her a gin. Good lad. All the same, I think Matt's right. Oh, hell, there's no to worry about. Isn't there? You're the gaffer, Jack. Am I the gaffer, Charlie? Aye, all right. We'll find a new <laughs> pub. I've heard of a job, Jack. But more, but they might suit us. Not yet, Matt. 
Well, the forecast's too good. The moon's just right. There's no cloud, hasn't been for days. You wouldn't go on a trench raid in weather like this. What'll we do then? Wait. Well, I'd better be off or I'll miss me tramp. Come and have a bite first. My sister's made some supper. I thought she was in service. Aye, she is out at Hexham. Only a gaffer's gone on a holiday. Lucky bugger. Uh, thanks anyway, Matt. We can't. Last tram's in ten minutes. Well, you walked farther in France and fared worse. She's a bloody good cook and just made a pie. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know Jack's spoken for. That wouldn't bother Dolly. She thinks this manual work is low. Oh, she does, does she? She does these days. Her first husband was a joiner. Gilded White was second battalion man. Now she's a bank clerk chasing us, so you've not to worry about. <laughs> what sort of pie she made? Steak and kidney. You're on. Good night, lads. <laughs> Smile, boy, that's the style. Looks like you've got enough there to keep you going all night. Looks like it. Fancy a glass? No, thanks. I wouldn't say no to a fag, though. Nice to see some people still have manners. Have you known our Matt long, Mr. Ford? Oh. Call him Jack Man, same as everybody else does. Have you? How long, Matt? Five years. Gone on for six. He was my sergeant, Dolly. Oh, the war. Aye, the war. Were you in long? Long enough. I lost my husband. Did our Matt tell you? I did, I'm sorry. Three months war married. Three months and two leaves, and then a telegram. That was over four years ago, and I still miss him. Well, at least it was spared this. Spared what? Bloody lockouts, bloody strikes. Oh, we don't see much of that where I'm working. We've seen out else only, uh... Mind, it doesn't seem to have harmed you two. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Jack's cousin's a stable lad, Ribbon. Gets a few tips. Ah. So you're not starving like some. I made up my mind a long time ago, Mrs. Mather. The one thing I would never do was starve. Call a dolly, man. You said that as though you meant it. I do mean it. But the people round here, they can't help it. The people round here are sheep, Mrs. Mather. Oh, a dog yapping at their heels, driving them to the butchers. I wouldn't want to be a dog, but I wouldn't mind being a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend's clever, Matt. <laughs> I is. You can tell the way he talks. But he's still out of work. Well, I'll say goodnight, Mr. Ford. All right, I'm about to pass me off and all. Just a minute. <laughs> Past midnight. Too late for walking home. Why don't you keep down here? We're going to couch in the front. No, thanks. I'll manage. Hey, you've had a good bit to drink. You know what the bobbies are like around here? We don't want you getting arrested. Oh, I never thought of that. I don't know if you sure be no trouble. I'll get the blankets. No, I'll do that. I don't want you waking me, Marmo. Good night, Mr. Ford. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Ah, it is the bloody morning. Why aren't you going up? Well, we might as well have a nightcap first. Clouds will come. All right. No, will do. You can get the van all right? No bother. I'll let you know when. There's a long, long night to wait until my dreams all come to. You and I'll be going down that long, long trail with you. Seems like ages ago. Another bloody world. At least we haven't forgotten trench raids. 
Just as well. That lass of yours, is she any idea what you're up to? No. You gonna tell her? Maybe. After we're married. If we ever are. Smoke it down here. I do. You're a very pretty woman. I think you've had a drop too much. I have. But I can still see you're pretty. Hey, now wait a minute. And I can still think and all. What funny way of thinking you've got. You said three months and two leaves. And then you said I still miss him. Well, I do. That was over four years ago, you said. Four years without a man. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. You're very rude. Not rude, money lass. Honest. It's been a long time for me, you know. Too bloody long. Buy me a cigarette. You can smoke it later. Oh, wish you didn't smell of whiskey. Of course you won't. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Jack, lad. How are you, Mr. Seaton? Connie. Just giving the kitchen a bit of a turnout. Uh-huh. How are you? Jesse about? School doesn't get out till quarter past. Billy's back. Where's he? Studying? Clever Bairns do no else. Uh. Jack. Excuse us asking, but uh, you didn't manage to bring it. Hey, I'm sorry, Mrs. Seaton. I'm a bit short myself now. Hey, well, I've got one bottle left if you'd fancy it. <laughs> no, thanks. You keep it. <laughs> How's Mary? Bad. Getting worse. It's galloping, Jack. She's still not happy. It's TB. I can't blame her. Hello, Bonnie lass. How are oh, you? Oh, hello. I'm fine. How's the school? All right. Fine weather helps. They don't get so hungry. There's a soup kitchen opened on Barrett Street. Honestly, it's more like being a nurse than a teacher. I was thinking I, I might pop down to the shop. Get some corned beef for tea. <laughs> There's kids in my class starving. I know. And do you care as well? Would it do any good if I did? Somebody should do something. Nobody will. You mustn't talk like that. You should be fighting this mess. I'm sorry, Jack. I was rotten to you last time. No, you were. I was. And I'm sorry, honestly. Do I have to ask you to kiss me then? Oh. Oh, sorry. Hello, Jack. Hello. I'll see you later. No, stay and talk to Jack. I've got to go and tidy up. I picked a bad time. Aye. You know, Jesse had a row. Not a row, Billy, no. You two got married. Can't afford it, lad. Why not? She's working. Aye, your dar's not, and Tom's not, and neither am I. Neither am I, is that it? Well, she thinks so. That's got nothing to do with it. When I get married, I'll be the one that goes out to work. You mustn't think I don't know what Jesse's doing for me. Not just for you, bonnie lad. Is that about Tom's wife? No secret. He wants me to treat her. There is no treatment, Jack, except the right food and the right climate. Even if there was, I couldn't give it to her. Why not? I'm not allowed to. I've still got two years to do. I'm not qualified. I might never be qualified. Don't talk daft. Why don't you come up with me tomorrow? We'll take a hike, stretch your legs. Where to? Morbeth. Yeah, I'd like to, Jack. Hey, Jack, I was nearly forgetting how Tom was in. He left a message to say he's been looking all over for you. All right, Mrs. Seaton. Did he say what it was about? Ah, oh, a fellow he knew in the army, Bert Mather. He was killed, poor lad. Tom was wondering if you could help him find his widow's address. I see. 
stuff. I'll make it under the tea. You go and keep our Jesse company. Aye. Not you. You can give us a hand with the tea. It was nice of you to think of taking our Billy on a hike tomorrow. How will you manage for money? We'll manage. After we're married, you said. I'll save all my questions till then. Jesse. Oh, Billy I... thinks the world of you. Does he? So does Mum. You're very well liked in our family, Jack. And I'm glad. Because I love you. You know that, don't you? I love you so much, this times I can't bear it. Well, will you look at that? What? That's Dickie Purvis's mum and dad. Who? He's a boy in my class. He's got no shoes and stockings and his clothes all in rags. And they can find the money to go out and buy bottles of beer. Just a minute, where are you off to? Give him a piece of my mind. Just a minute, you two. I'll work with you. <laughs> Proper hard case, my sister. Better you than me. Hello, Tom. Where did you spring from? Did Mum tell you I wanted a word? Aye, she did. About Bert Mather's widow. Aye. You didn't make much effort to see me. There's no point, Tom. I can't help you. You were doing all right helping her. You better finish it, lad. I saw you in the pub with her brother. You weren't sure about Bobber too, either. You should know you had your whack. And you went back to his house. And don't deny it, I followed you. You seem to have a knack for it. I was there, outside. Tom's the name for you, all right. Peep and Tom. Whatever it's money you're after, you've picked a bad time. No, I don't want your bloody money. No, you've had enough of it. You know what I want, Jack. Now, don't tell me you and those mates of yours aren't planning a job, because I know better. All I want's a share. Or I'll tell her, Jesse, what I saw. Ah, I really enjoyed that. Hello, Tom, what are you doing here? Having a crack with you, young man. How'd you get on with the purposes? Dickie will have some boots tomorrow. <laughs> Looking out for your kids, will you? Don't you start sneering. I'm not. Looking after the folks as need us. That's what we've all got to do. Any way we can. You've got me worn out. Just a stroll, Billy. Stroll? Ten miles, it was a yard. I thought you were tough. So did that, I started walking with you. Those are nice glasses. All right. For a present. From a captain. Oh, the war. That's it. The boss's war. It was a boss giving me them glasses. The sum that was, hit by shrapnel. Ten minutes later, he died in the arms. All the same, his class were responsible. Oh, wait, Billy, let me finish. He said something just before he died, and it's puzzled me ever since. An educated chap like you might be able to explain it to me. Night time it was. Whiz bangs coming over, flares going up. He's coughing his guts out. And all of a sudden he stops and he says to me, What the hell am I doing here, Sergeant? I said I'd be at the Savile. Then he died. Now just tell me this, will you? What's the Savile? It's a club. You like the odd fellas? <laughs> no, no, not really. It's a gentleman's club. You're pulling my leg. He was a boss, Billy, worth thousands. But he died on the Somme and I didn't. And where's the profit in that? You like bosses, do you? I wouldn't mind being one. You do better to fight for your own class. Oh, I've had my whack of fighting. Anyway, why pick on me? Man at your dar or Tom? Dad's done his share, but he's passed it and you know he is. And Tom? He thinks of nobody but himself. You're wrong there, kidder. Yeah, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. What chance has Mary got? If she'd been a boss's wife, all the chance in the world. As it is, she's dying. I think so. And God knows I've seen enough of them. Can't you see, Jack? It's people like Mary I want you to fight for. Why me, bonny lad? Because you're a leader. People follow you and you've got brains. If you'd had your proper chance, I'd have given some sergeant me field glasses and died on the song. All right. Now I'll talk to Jessie. That'll make a change. Most of the time, she talks to me. What are they? Mutton. Oh, well, that's appropriate anyway. Appropriate? Uh... Yes, I think you're right. So I've got a couple of bones from the butcher and a few veggies and I made a big pan of soup. Well, I know it's hot weather, but soup's always filling. Jessie, 
Yes, ma'am. I said soup's filling. Mm. And I thought, seeing it was the big pan, we could put some in that blue jug we got when your Auntie Nelly died. And I could pop round and see if Mary might fancy a drop. What do you see? I didn't say anything, Mother. I'm trying to read. Hello, uh, Mother. Jessie? Pat, been to the lodge meeting? Aye. Uh, Our Tom there? Mm-hmm. Did you see how Mary was? Aye. She's bad, Mother. I'm taking around some soup. Aye, uh, that'll do her good. What you reading, Pat? It's a book of our billies. Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. A communist manifesto. That's never a medical book. No, ma'am. Politics. Don't lose me face. Communist fella. Comrades. Fellow workers. Like they have in Russia. Them fellas that shot that king. That's right. Our Billy wants to start shooting kings. No, ma'am. He wants to stop Mary dying. So do I. Well, when you get there, mind you keep on going. Don't want tramps. I beg your pardon, constable. Don't come the cheeky with me. Come the cheeky? What on earth are you talking about? It's like another language around here. It really is. My good man, what can possibly have persuaded you that we are tramps? You're on the road, aren't you? Well, of course we are. We've been walking all day, observing birds. The correct expression is ornithology, but for you, observing birds will do. And spare us the comment that we're shabbily dressed. We'd hardly go hill climbing in our dinner jackets. You're supposed to have glasses for this bird watching business. Indeed, we do. These glasses. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. But I trust you realize now, Constable. Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, Captain. Excuse uh, me. Oh, Billy, man, that was marvellous. Yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir. <laughs> what's up? The whole bloody system, that's what's up. If I couldn't have put on a posh voice, we might have been arrested for vagrancy. Come on, then, tell us. If I couldn't have played Lord Muck, what would you have done? Belted him. Oh, yeah, I believe you would. And left me to patch him up. Oh, it's you. Hi. Not around. No. They're all out. He said to tell you'd be down at the pub later on. Oh. Oh, thank you. I didn't say you couldn't stay. If you wanted to. I want to stay all right, but... Well, you better stay then. Come on, Pet, just one more spoonful. Just to please me. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. I couldn't. I just couldn't. You don't take on, pet. You don't jump you. It's just to get tired, you see. You're bound to with a cough like you've had. Brought old Billy to see you. Hello, Mary. Have I got your dinner? No, I just finished. How's the cough? Oh, it's better, honest. Any blood with it? No. Well, a bit. I mean, with a bad cough, there's bound to be a bit. Well, you just lie there and get better. It's the burn, you see. I'm worried about the burn. Now, Mum and Jessie look after him, Mary. You know that. So don't fret. The more you fret, the longer it'll take to get well. Did Jack come with you? No, he said he had to stop up and see a mate. <sighs> suppose I get pregnant. Then we'll get married. And suppose I don't. Then we won't. Oh, thanks very much. You want to marry a bank clerk, remember? <laughs> And you want to marry a school teacher? We must be mad, the pair of us. <laughs> <laughs> How was the hike? Great. Did Jack enjoy it? He did that. We talked all the time. What about? Him, the union, fighting back. What did he say? He said he'd think about it. He always does. He's got brains, you know, sis. He's the brightest one of the lot of us. If he'd bother to use them. We could take four easy. Four? Keep your voice down. I four. Oh, never chance more than two. There's hundreds of them there, man. Thousands. All the same, Jack. There's only four of us. Wouldn't get another man. It's not that easy, Jack. Why not? Well, whoever it is, we've got to be able to trust him. I mean, with others different. All being a big company. Matt's right, you know, Jack. Suit yourself. 
but it's all prime meat, what I saw. Real good eating. Another thing, the way things are going, this could be our last job. My last job, anyway. But, Jackman, what the hell for? The luck won't last forever. It's getting more dangerous every time. What are we going to manage? I'm thinking of something else. It's all right. Is it? Will you hear what it is? Now then, how many do we take? Do you know a chap? Aye. Who is he? If things go right, he'll be my brother-in-law, Tom Seaton. He's a miner when he gets a chance to work. Army? Aye. What regiment? I was. Ninth Battalion. Ninth? Well, they never even went to France. What does he know about trench raids? It'll be all right, Matt, I promise you. Bloody better be all right. Aye. I'll tell him that myself. Mum will know how to do the eggs, sir. Uh -huh. Tell her if Mary doesn't fancy them any other way to try making a custard. Right, just. Who's that, me dad? Dad's in bed. Anybody at home? Oh, it's Jack. Come on in. Hello, Tom. You saw me where to find you. At this time of night. There's a mate of mine and he's going fishing. We're looking for somebody to help us handle his boat. So I suggested you. What for? You know how poorly his wife is. Ten bob, that's what for. Maybe a few fish and all. Hang on. I'm, I'll just get these things back to Mary. Oh, lad, there's plenty of time. I'll meet you at the corner, Dock Street, in half an hour. Right, Jack. He won't regret it, honest. I'll be off then, Jesse. And thanks. You and all, Jack. Seems a lot of fuss for a night's fishing. There's money in his pocket, lass. Money he's worked for. You and Billy know all about that. He tells me he was onto you all day. <laughs> he never stopped. He was worse than you. Well, as bad as that. Oh, I didn't mean... We're not on the beach now, Jack. You can kiss me, nobody will see. You're still not friends with me, are you? What's you on about? Do you know what I'm on about? That day on the beach. I still don't think it's right. How can I, the way I was brought up? But if you really want me to... We'll wait. For a school teacher, you've got a lot to learn. Have I? It's not what I want. It's what we want. You are still angry. If I am, I've no right to be. I must be off, or miss the fishing. You were never coming. This time. What will we be doing, Jack? Stealing sheep. You, what are you I'll tell doing? you on the way. There's something else you've got to know first. Yes, Jack? I'm taking you because of Mary. No other reason. My Mary's the only reason I want to go. You'll do, Tom. You'll do. Come on, then, man. We're up. Don't use these unless I have to. What's these for? Blood. And mind you, don't spill any. Right.
Need a bit of company for you on the way home. Right, let's get away. We'll check first. The candles. Mats. Aye, oh, they're in the van. I saw them. Buckets. There's only two there. Where the hell's the other one? It's my fault. I forgot. Well, you better go and fetch it then, kiddo. Sheep were killed. Away. It's not his. He's gone cost. We better get a doctor. No. This could be serious, Jack. It'll be more serious if you get a doctor. Couldn't you treat him? I don't know. If it's mild, yes, but he might need hospital. Of course he does. I'll get dressed and get an ambulance. No, wait. We weren't catching fish tonight, Jesse. We were catching sheep. Stealing sheep. What? That copper you talked to caught Tom. Only I did belt him after all. Laid him out. If Tom goes to hospital, he may go to prison and all. Along with the rest of us. Get some water. So that was the old jobs you were talking about. That was it. Stealing. More like bloody Robin Hood and his merry men. Robbing the rich to feed the poor. He didn't sell them. A few for beer money. The rest were gave away. Tom was going to sell his share, though. For Mary? Aye. Since the lockout. How on earth did you get away with it? I planned it, Billy, like the army. Trench raids. All the blood and guts and stuff. Surely they could track you. Buckets and clippy mats for the blood. The guts all went to the North Sea, along with the fleeces. If the fish around here could knit the door, where were he jumpers? And you planned it all? Yes, I did. One of us has a left footer. He's got seven kids. You want me to stand by and watch them starve? Oh, Jack. I think it's marvellous. You do? I'm only sorry you didn't manage it tonight. Not manage it, of course. We managed it. Tom will get his share. Can you do a lot? I think so. There'll be a risk. I told him that when he asked to join. Is that why Tom was looking for Matt Headley's sister? Is she in on it? There's nobody in on it except them that did it. And you. And Billy. And it's got to stay that way, sis. Of course. Dad's upstairs. Thank God he didn't wake him. You know, he talks when he's had a few pints. And, ma'am. Don't tell him. How can I not? They'll see him. The boat accident, you Tufton. All right, the boat accident. And not a word from you either, sis. Me? I like that. You don't suppose I'm turning my own brothers, do you? Not to mention my husband. Thanks to the dark. 
daddy sing to the mommy dance to the daddy to the mommy sing Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the haddock when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the bloater when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the mackerel when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the salmon when the boat comes in <laughs>